Hey Dobby here, and in this video I'm going to do this unboxing of this TMU package. So it's going to be a little TMU tool haul. So let's get this package open and see what's inside it. Normally I would do these as short. This one I'm going to do as a longer one. There are a few household products in here that I'll pull out the way quickly. So the first one we've got coming out of the box. This lovely one inside here. Which is a set of pin depinning tools. Quite a nice little set. Like a runner, a bit of electrical back tape for rewrapping wiring looms. Pretty cool as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video quickly and I'll quickly whip everything else out and I'll see what else is inside the package. So now we've got the package all emptied out, I can see all the pits individually. So here we have this lovely headlamp. We'll get it out quickly. Inside we have a lovely, looks like it's a rechargeable, yep, a rechargeable headlamp. Pretty cool. Put the sensor mode on. Pretty useful little lamp. Little head torch, should I say. And then it's got a little sensor so you can swipe it on and off. Pretty cool. Next up we have this magic hexagon hexagonal wrench as they call it. There's a variety of different sizes, I don't know how well you can see that. My light's getting a bit faded. So it does from 7mm to 14mm or in SEA 9 9/16 to a quarter inch. I'll quickly pop it out. Quite an interesting little um wrench. Not sure how good it'll be but it seems pretty interesting. As I want to use this I'll do a what's in my toolbox on them let you know what I really think. Next up we have this little rubber stopper for a jack. So let me get out of the packaging so you can have a better look at it. I probably won't do a watch in the toolbox on this. Let me get the bag open, it's quite tough. Yeah, and this is just to help protect the car when you're jacking up, especially along the um, pinch weld. Now we just have a reel of service uh, labels. Pretty handy you have these. Always useful to pop them in, even if you're doing your own car service, just give you a nice easy reminder. Pretty cheap as well, while we're picking up. We also have another little one that I'll show you in this. Oops, sorry about the camera. Which is just this butterfly nut adapter. So you put this on a screwdriver and it helps with those butterfly nuts or those hooks. Basically anything you need to screw in that can fit in this gap. Pretty handy, because when the butterfly nuts can be pretty tight and you don't want to use the pair of pliers on them. And next up we have this uh, automatic center punch. Hole put like for marking metal for when you're drilling. Let me just quickly put, use the point of it to help get it out. Here's a spring loaded punch. You can adjust it here. Seems pretty useful. I'll give it a proper try out when I, in a few moments. Let me quickly find a piece of metal that I can um, demonstrate on and I'll give you a de quick demonstration. So here's just a uh, angle grinder spanner as I call them. This is quick to give you a demonstration. Let me get the camera on it and clear out the rubbish. And all you have to do is simply just push it down. And it goes off like that. It makes a nice little perfect divot in it. Probably needs a bit of adjusting to get a bit better, but first time I've used it. And again, I'll let you know all the tools that I use in this video. We'll get the own what's in my toolbox in it due course as I've used them enough to give you a proper idea of what I think of them. And now we have this lovely item in a box. Let's pop it open and see what's inside it. Should be a very tiny mini vice, which is there's a mini vice and you also get a lovely Allen key in there. Got loads of these. It's got a suction cup base on it. And this is mainly for when I'm doing videos in here for demonstration purposes. It's a nice little vice, fairly secure, sits the whole desk when it's settling down. And yeah, opens up to a decent size. Keep it to hold a few things. Let's pop this in there for a second just so we can um, see it holding something. And yeah, I'm hoping to use this a lot more in my videos just so I can hold things when I'm doing demonstrations and such. Which I think it'll be perfect for. And here's just a quick look at the 
depinning tools. This will be pretty handy for depinning connectors. I hope so. A load of different variety in here. And yes, this is my little team tool haul. And I'll let you know what I think of most of these items as I use them. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.